Hey, welcome back to Tack on Red. My name's David. This is my NC MX-5 or Miata. And today I'm going to be removing the front bumper and you're going to see how simple it actually is. A lot of people are really intimidated at the idea of removing their front bumper, but it's actually super simple. It just takes a bit of time and patience. So let's get into it. And the reason why I say it's really simple is because everything that you need to do is right here at the top. It's easily accessible and easily visible. All you need is some really simple hand tools. So these are all 10 millimeter bolts. So we're gonna be getting these all off. On the underside, there are gonna be a few uh, more bolts and you'll need either a socket or a crosshead screwdriver. The other thing you'll need is a trim clip removal tool. Uh, it's one of those little prying things. Or you, depending on the type of clips that are being used, uh, you might also need to use a uh, crosshead screwdriver. First thing you want to do is get the front of your car up in the air. I'm very fortunate to have a uh, full-on lift here at work, so I'm using that, but you only really need to get the front end off. So you can just jack up the front or just put the front end up on ramps and you will have enough space to get underneath. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off my number plate and two bolts here uh, in the front of the grill and uh, my number plate is actually bolted into one of those bolts, bolt holes. Um, you might, I'm actually missing a couple of uh, trim cover things here, um, but if you have a cover, you'll just have to use a flathead screwdriver to pry that off. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take these bolts off the bottom here. Eight millimeter heads on these bolts, so you'll need an eight mil socket to get these off. Or you can also use a crosshead screwdriver I'm not going to do that because I don't want to strip the insides of them. Um, so to be safe, I'm going to use a, uh, an 8 mil socket to get these off. Alright, all those bolts are out. Next step is going to be to remove these little trim clips on the inside of the fender. And I'm just going to be using one of these to kind of pry and get those off. If you need more space to work, what you can do is just turn the steering wheel um, full lock to either side and that'll give you a bit more room to work up here. Now here's a tip for when you're using this pry tool. When you're going along here and if you're leveraging on that edge, that's actually part of the bumper. It's a painted surface so what you'll end up doing is either um, putting a little dent in it or at the, at the very least you'll end up scratching it. So what I recommend is uh, grab a cloth or something, wrap uh, this end of your pry tool um, with the cloth and then that way it'll, it'll be a bit softer where it hits that painted surface there. Alright, so I've taken off the uh, fender liner and if I peel that back you're going to be able to see a couple of nuts holding and a bolt holding the uh, bumper in place. You'll have to take this bolt off and up here you're gonna see a nut over there and further down it's kind of dark but there's another nut just like it so you have to take those two nuts off as well and you have to do that on both sides for getting those uh, bolt the, those bolts and nuts inside the fender liner uh, it's really handy to have one of these it's a ratchet spanner uh, with a flex head so absolutely recommend these they're not too expensive these are such a time saver I'll link these in the description below so check them out all right, so we're almost done removing all the fasteners, but before we remove these top fasteners, which is at the moment all that's holding the bumper on, what we're gonna do is a bit of cheap insurance. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some masking tape and mask this little edge of the fender where it meets the bumper, and I'm gonna do that on both sides. And that's just to make sure that when I'm pulling the bumper off and also later when I'm going to fit it back on, when that bumper is kind of wobbling around, it's not gonna strike that painted fender and put scratches in it. The other thing I'm gonna do, oh, that oil stain is not from my car, by the way. The other thing I'm gonna do is gonna lay down some cardboard or some old towels uh, so that when I take the bumper off, I'm gonna have a nice soft uh, place to rest the bumper on. Just like that, cheap insurance. Cheap insurance. And more cheap insurance. All right, next we're gonna take off all of these 10 millimeter bolts along the top. And once we do that, we'll be removing the bumper. All right, so all the fasteners that we need to undo have been undone, and the bumper, as you can see, is now 
pretty loose and uh, it should be pretty easy to just pull it off. Now, I would recommend asking a friend to help you, if, especially if you're doing this for the first time, because what you want to do is you want to hold this end close to the fender, make sure you're grabbing the corners so that you, you can be sure to guide that part off without scratching your fender and without hitting anything. And you want the other person to grab the other side so you both take the uh, bumper off together. Uh, I'm going to be doing this by myself because uh, I work as a mechanic uh, and I'm used to doing this on my own. Um, but if it's your first time, then I'd recommend asking a friend or a family member to help you out. is fitted with uh, fog lamps so as you're taking the bumper off you'll need to get it off a little bit just so that you have a bit of space between the headlight and a uh, little cut out in the bumper just reach in through here and then undo the connection for the uh, fog lamps all right so this is actually why we're here I want to replace my old bumper grill because uh, I've got the PRHT the hard the retractable hardtop and it has that chrome surround around the grill um, I hate fake chrome, I hate plastic that's been plated or coated in chrome. Um, I think it looks cheap. So I'm going to be swapping it for the standard uh, NC soft top uh, front grill, which has no chrome, it's just all black plastic. So I'm going to be pulling this off and I've got a, a used um, all black grill that I picked up on, on Yahoo Auctions here in Japan. So the old grill is um, just held in place with um, these little clips and what you'll need to get them off is carefully use a flathead screwdriver to kind of uh, just pry them enough to, and pull at the same time to get all of these little clips um, released. And these clips are part of the bumper so you want to be careful not to break these. We're going to work our way around and get these tabs. Now these blue tabs are actually part of the bumper and they're uh, clipping into the holes in the grill. So you're gonna to have to be really careful and use a really fine flathead screwdriver to kind of pry these and uh, at the same time kind of pull on the grill to get the grill off these clips. And you'll have to just do that all the way around. One other trick that helped me is once I had all of these clips down here done, uh, undone, um, I just kind of pulled up from the sides instead of trying to go from here. I pulled up here on the sides and then on the other side here and that ended up helping uh, the uh, clips get released and now I can move the grill just like that. Getting the uh, replacement grill in was um, just a lot of really careful, fine tweaking and you've got to be patient because if you try to rush this you're going to either break one of these tabs or um, you're going to have the uh, edge of the grill chip off some of the paint. Uh, surrounding the uh, little eight, the, the the edge where the um where the grill meets the bumper, so some of that paint all along there. So you want to be careful and patient. Carefully pry these tabs up, slide the grill underneath, uh, carefully work it into position, and then finally, when it's, when you've got it, all the holes lined up with the tabs, you can just give it a light tap with with the palm of your hand. Um, but until then. Be patient, just so you don't break anything. And that's how you remove the bumper and the grill. If you actually want to remove the uh, headlights as well, it's just four bolts, 10 millimeter, one, two, three, and one underneath. Same thing on the other side. And um, putting it all back together is just the reverse of taking it apart. So there you go. And if you're not already, hit the like and subscribe button and uh, don't miss out on any other useful NC MX-5 or Miata DIY videos. Catch you in the next one. Bye.